हेलो हीरो हीरोइंस वेलकम टू मिंगल सी ओ टी आई एम सेटन हियर टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू माई फेवरेट डी एस लेनर राइट नाउ इन द मेटा दैट इज एड लेन every single damage in the, in his kit right now that is he does magic damage too he does physical damage obviously and he also does true damage true damage is the damage for those who don't know true damage is the damage that cannot be blocked that will deal the full amount even if you have every single defense item in the game it will still deal the same amount that is called true damage now let's see his passive See this. After his fourth staff, he will heal HP and do true damage. Next is his S1. He has, his S1 can be stacked multiple times. When he, when this his stack is one, he does one knock up, and his next stack is full. That is three or four. He knocks the enemy up and does a bunch of slashes, which will restore his HP and does true damage. Next is his S2. That is called Moon Flash. moon flash like a lion dashes into a certain direction which will immobilize the uh, what champion his the champion can do his moves and all don't get me wrong like if the irie uses her s2 it will deal damage to you but she won't move even when irie uses her s2 she dashes right she she will not move but will do the damage of the thing towards you next is our Ulti is used to uh, either escape or used to initiate the team fight. You can ult on your uh, friend, that is your own teammate, and you can ult on the enemy. You cannot ult on buffs or jungle creeps. Elaine is really good against certain tanky heroes. Immobilize. one of the pros of using elain is that he can really demolish the backline of the enemy team the backline being the what mm and the mage he can really destroy them because they are very squishy heroes and elain does true damage so this is a good advantage of using elain in a team fight one of the cons of the hero is that if you get cc'd then like If you get stunned or count, like crowd controlled, you you won't be able to do your job as an alien in a team fight. If your enemy has like if if the enemy team has Thane, Thane is a good counter for a alien. Thane is a good counter. Liliana is a good counter because she can block your alt while dashing. Her alt is immune, same as your alt. Then Emily is a good counter, even though we like. You you can counter Emily. That's happened sometimes when you are in a lead, gold lead. But Emily can really blow you up. Lubu can counter you. Lubu is in like a DS laner god, like the warlord of DS lane. Late game Lubu is really scary, and you can get countered by Malak and stuff. So you need to watch out for these heroes while you are alone. You can counter them. If but if you need to play really well with them to counter them. If you can properly, you can properly. Sorry, you can properly like counter his abilities, dodge his abilities, S one, S two, etc., etc., and just like you can counter certain people, and you can get countered by the exactly the same people. So Elaine is a really good pick against most of the heroes. Is really good against most of the heroes in the game. 
that's why you should pick a lane more how to take the te exact team composition for elaine i think pura as a support might be able to help elaine a lot i haven't seen this in game i haven't seen a pura and a lane in a team yet because i think that with his alliance healing abilities and pura of course heals insane he doesn't have mana to elaine which is really good for pura pura with elaine i think it will be a really good team composition ha team composition te baat karun so you need high cc you just need high cc when your team your team has an elaine if you high cc the enemies are dead late game bro क्योंकि एलाइन हैज हाई बर्स्ट डैमेज हाई क्रिटिकल डैमेज जब अभी देखा मैं लोग को मारा था मैंने हाई बर्स्ट डैमेज है एलाइन के पास सो यू नीड बेसिकली ए टीम विथ हाई सी सी एंड ए लिटिल मोर टैंक सो यू कैन लाइक टैंक सर्टन योर ए टीम कैन टैंक सर्टन लेट्स फर्स्ट थिंग यू कैट डू एज ए डीज लेनर इज ऑलवेज बी रेडी टू स्काउट एंड scout as well as these days ready to scout this thing. that is the dark clear always scout the dark clear for example after you clear the wave okay that ka wave ho gaya go and scout the dark clear to see that if the enemy jungler and the ds laner are taking it and you can help our jungler Even that is your teammate jungler by taking the map always please like please keep the eye on the mini map if your jungler is taking the ds please go and help him if the enemy team is taking the ds please go and help your team and your jungler in order to like steal the ds split pushing a line i don't think the line is a good split pusher but he can split push split pushing is a really important role in ds like if you are behind in gold or like if ah uh, if you are behind in gold or either if you are like ahead in gold if you are ahead in gold your enemy your team can like 4v5 against the enemy so you don't they don't need you if you think that they don't need you in a team fight you can just solo split push you can take all these things these towers you can take these two towers and come into team fight or you can take the whole lane i have seen certain people take the whole lane and come to a team fight so it split pushing is a really good really good role or next is the uh, and the certain heroes that can split push are like omen omen and kilgroth kilgroth can really omen and kilgroth can really split push bro you don't know they can take two uh, like two towers and come without losing a single hp because they split push really really fast so that's it this is the guide of ds lane and the guide to a lane hope you like it like comment sub and subscribe thank you everyone